we did this for our course, um, BSCI 1512. Um, it's just an introductory biology laboratory that explores projects in depth. Um, we worked with Kate Kirby on this under the direction of Steve Boskoff, who's the director of the Intro Bio program. Uh, my name is Sabine, um, and just along with uh, uh, Kate Kirby was is part of uh, the Patel Lab, so that's kind of where the uh, inspiration for the project came. So our project is titled, um, we explored a genetic screen to, ident to identify genes involved in paternal mitochondrial DNA degradation in C. elegans. Uh, C. elegans, they're really tiny nematodes, and they, we use them as a model organism because they're so well understood in the scientific literature. Um, and as I'm sure you might be aware, mitochondria is critical to a lot of energy in the body. Um, and we were trying to identify how paternal mitochondria is degraded in the cell. Um, if paternal mitochondria is not degraded, then you can incite a lot of diseases, mitochondrial diseases that can affect your heart or liver or other parts of your body. Um, and we already know that two factors that are involved in paternal mtDNA degradation. So our goal in this project was to find some third factor that's involved in it. We came onto this project um, as part of a course. Um, as Will mentioned earlier, we took this uh, course called 1512. Um, it was a biological sciences laboratory. Um, and so we were put in a project with um, Kate Kirby and uh, with the help of the Patel Lab, she helped us come up with the um, idea for this project. So one big thing that we learned from this project was um, we optimized a genetic screen um, to see how to, to see how to track paternal mtDNA uh, in offspring. So previously there wasn't really a good way to track um, how paternal mtDNA is moved from the parent uh, to the offspring. So by using different mutations to track paternal mtDNA in nematodes in this project, project we optimized this genetic screen for future research. Yeah, and in addition to that, just on a larger scope, this project helped us hone in on our just generic research skills. So we learned how to properly read and digest scientific literature and how to actually conduct and construct a scientific experiment. Um, it was great, it was a great team building exercise. We worked in a group all together, and I think there were eight or nine of us all together on the project. Um, so it was really great to you know, even run into problems and learn how to problem solve and move past the errors that we discovered throughout the whole process and throughout the whole course.